Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Tuesday, October 17th. Here are today's top headlines. President Biden is heading to Israel amid the growing humanitarian crisis in Gaza. This as Hamas releases the first video of a young hostage, one of the hundreds captured more than a week ago. And gunfire erupts in the parking lot of a popular restaurant in North Hollywood, killing three people. The shooters remain at large this morning. We're live. Plus, California's earthquake simulator comes to Los Angeles. How you can experience a 7.0 tremor all by yourself. Look at Wendy Birch. You go, Wendy. Early edition of Ed Wright in Heels. An earthquake in Heels. Early edition of the KTLA 5. Morning news starting right now. Well, good morning to you, and good morning to you. Welcome back, Thank Megan, you. on this good Tuesday. Time. I'm Chris Shaw. I'm Megan Henderson. We are glad you're with us. We're checking Rosa Ginger coming up first. Let's talk weather. Yeah, we'll talk a little weather. Uh, not a bad day yesterday, a little warm, but we're going to see temperatures kind of around the same numbers. We're going to have to wait a week before we get a significant cool. Mm. So we're going to be above the average all week long. But welcome back. Thank it's great you. to have you on there. Tuesday, good morning, everybody. We're going to get right to it. We're going to talk about what's in store for us. We know we're going to find some cloud coverage. There are some spots where the marine layer is definitely oh, thicker. Oh, man. So we'll be a couple of degrees cooler than yesterday. I know we said we're warm, but uh, even with the cool down today, we will still be above the average, but maybe a little modest relief and temperatures just a tad cooler. 83 downtown, not too bad. We're less than five degrees away from the average, but we are trending above the average across the board, lower 90s for the IE, and we're looking at right around 89, 90 degrees for the high desert, which by the way, the high desert, we had 90 for a high yesterday. So we're talking a couple degree cool down may or may not be noticeable to you, unless you're along the coast, where that marine layer will come into play a little bit more this morning, and that could offset the warm up for some areas. We'll talk more about today and the rest of the week. We'll do it in a few minutes. Ginger, over to you. All right, yeah. I mean, there are some spots where that fog is still really thick rolling through, like, say, uh, East LA, Commerce, Montebello, parts of downtown as well. We want to move you over to a spot where there's no fog, but there is a lot of construction. They did say that this project was actually only going to be from last night into this morning. So it actually wraps up in about an hour, but it's both directions. The closure here basically. Artesia on the northbound side to Carmenita Road and basically the same spot on the south. Some of the connectors to that 91 are closed as well. I mean, I was hoping they were going to pick up those cones early. This particular stretch, they usually go down to the count until 5 o'clock. They should have detours set up because this project, actually, they knew about it since last week. And it's a pretty big deal. The same for the drive here. So we talked about this project that 91 heading east. For now, anyway, just the eastbound side Green River Road over to Surface Club till 5. They have some of the transitions off that 71 shut down as well. This project, not this particular, um, not these lanes being closed in this area, but this project in general, whether it's east or west, will go until mid-November. They will work on that no westbound side. We'll wait to see how much longer before they're able to do that. Uh, but for now, anyway, the condition's pretty good. They have all those detours set up as well. And so you have to be prepared for some of the slowing that will start here. Five o'clock is that time. All right, guys, back to you. All right, Ginger, thank you. We begin with the latest on the conflict in the Middle East. The U.S. now showing even greater public support for Israel as it battles the Palestinian militant group Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Officials say President Biden will visit Israel tomorrow in a display of, quote, ironclad commitment to Israel's security. President Biden will again make clear as he's done unequivocally since Hamas's slaughter of more than 1,400 people, including at least 30 Americans, that Israel has the right and indeed the duty to defend its people from Hamas and other terrorists and to prevent future attacks. American